Do you ever wonder why you experience all kind of problems that you didn't read about in any pamphlet, magazine, or book about pregnancy? Well, that's because they just don't tell you. But I'm here to tell you. I'm Tamika Herkley, your host of Be Shiny. And we're going to talk to new moms. I have my notes here so I don't forget anything. The first thing is, can we please have a relationship with the people that we are having kids with? Can we please wear a condom if we don't want to have kids? It's first of all disgusting and just, that's just disgusting. Moving on. The second thing is that miscarriage is pretty common. They don't really talk about it because you don't want to hear about it, of course, but it is common. It's a no-fault situation. It's nothing that you can do or not do to have a miscarriage. It does happen. You can get counseling and you can get over it and you will make it past it. Which brings me to my next issue. Holding your hands above your head does not make you miscarry. That means everyone that's been pregnant that's telling you that just kept their arms like this the whole time. Didn't wave at anybody or pick up your child or open the cabinet above the stove. They had somebody to do that for them, right? That's some bullshit. Excuse my expression, but that's not true. It just ticks me off. Okay. Now, the next item I want to tell you about is it's supposed to take nine months to have a baby, but sometimes your baby comes early. You could be ill, your baby could be ill, and it might come five, six, seven, eight months early. It does happen. A lot of times you have a fighting baby and you keep them in the incubator at the hospital and they do grow everything that they're supposed to have when they come out. It's really heart wrenching, but you know what? Once again, you do make it through. And it does happen through no fault of your own. So remember that. I'm not saying this to scare you, but it does happen. The other myth is that nausea ends in three months. That's not always the case. You can be nauseous from the moment that you, ha, you know. No, you can be nauseous from a couple of weeks to the whole nine months. You can be sick the whole time. It does happen. And I know your baby is down here, but sometimes it feels like it's up here in your ribs and it just hurts. Well, when my baby did that, everyone said, well, roll over on the other side, drink sugar water, tickle your side. The baby will move. My child is just as stubborn as in there as he is out. They do tell you what their personalities are in there. Okay? Believe that. And what the hell is round ligament pain? What the hell? You've never read anything about it. People have had three kids. They don't even know what it is. It puts your ass down. That's what it does. And the only thing you can do is relax and get on bed rest. That's it. There's not, nothing for it. This is like the best song in the world, okay? You eat for two. Well, you know, that's still out for debate. All I know is my friend told me to eat what the baby wants. If you have weird cravings, give in to them. That's what you can do. Don't go eating a whole lot of salt, a whole lot of cholesterol and fried foods. Not the fried foods aren't delicious. But just eat in moderation. Take full advantage. But don't go nuts. That's what you can do. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, you're going to have a beautiful glow. Yeah, you can have a beautiful glow with extra sides of a nose that's just like this, or a really dark neck, or even acne, or hair. It's not always pretty. And I'm sorry, but there's not that many people that looked cute giving birth. Not pushing, that is. Yes, I know we watched the baby story, myself included. And you see people that are just nice and calm and happy and they have on makeup. Now, unless you work at it, it's not going to happen. 
No one slapped makeup on me and fed me before it was time. I did it myself. Let me tell you. On a Tuesday, I was in the hospital all day from 10 to 11. On Wednesday, my doctor told me that I had to go immediately to the hospital. And I was just saying to myself, how am I going to do that? I actually told him, how am I going to do that? It's traffic. It's rush hour. So I went home. I put my makeup on. I twisted my hair up. And then I went to my parents and asked my dad to make me a hamburger and french fries because they starved me the day before. When I got to the hospital, they said, well, and they ask you questions, the same questions every time you go. Well, when was the last time you ate just now? A hamburger and french fries is what I told them. What were they going to do? They just give you more pills to make sure that, you know, you don't throw up all over them. And they don't tell you that you're going to be strapped down like Jesus if you can't push. That's what happens when you have a C-section. That's not on the baby's story either. So I didn't get to push. And that's, an, oh, that's another thing. You might not. You might want to, want to, want to because you're so strong and you want to do it naturally. Don't listen to your husband or boyfriend telling you not to get a epidural. You grab him by the balls and you say, does this feel okay? Do you need epidural now? This is your body, girlfriend. Yours. But anyway. I had to have a C-section. I did want to push. I was going to get, you know, they do give you the epidural when you have a C-section. But sometimes it's just not going your way. Because this is the baby. It does strange, strange things to the body. And that's a couple of them. And the last but not least. You might not have enough milk to feed your baby. You might pump and pump and pump even with a motorized breast pump and get that much. That means that you don't have enough. Don't get depressed about it. You can drink all the water, drink all the mother's milk tea that you want. It might work for you, it might not. But don't get depressed about it. If your child is drifting off to sleep as soon as you put them down they wake back up because there's not enough milk there, just take a hint. Don't get depressed. Get some formula and it's expensive as hell. Mix the little formula and your milk together and you do the very best you can. And another thing, if you don't take pictures right away, that's fine. If you don't take pictures every three months like everybody expects you to do, you tell those people to pay for the pictures and take them themselves. And watch out for depression, because this is a real one, okay? Make sure you have somebody close to you paying attention to you. Because sometimes you don't know if you're depressed because you're too tired. Okay, you need a strong support system. Well, I hope that helped and didn't hurt. And I hope you'll tune in again to be shiny. Thank you so much for watching. And tell Eve I'm a kicker in her teeth. If I ever see her. That was worth repeating. Be shiny.